What's up guys, we're back. This is my Anaheim avocado. I bought this in January of this year. I planted this the end of February of this year and it seems to be doing pretty good. It's pretty happy. It has a brand new shoot that I don't know if you can see, but kind of came up from here. And kind of taken off, almost as tall as the original. So initially I was concerned because when I was looking at where the graft was, which is, it looks like it's right here. And I was concerned that this shoot that came up is part of the rootstock and actually not part of what not part of the graft or part of the the new Anaheim avocado that was grafted on but after looking at it it looks like it is above the graft which is good which means that this new it's almost like a new leader that kind of came up should be an Anaheim also and also when I was looking at the leaves this for sure is the Anaheim if you can see the leaves has like little ridges on there so the leaves on this new shoot also has ridges so which means that it's probably the Anaheim which is a good thing so this Anaheim is a type A it originated in guess where Anaheim California and it was supposedly a seedling that was on the corner of Palm and Ball. I tried to look at Google Maps, but I'm pretty sure that that tree's gone. And you know how things have changed already. Like the, so the Anaheim has fruit that's pretty big. I mean, it's actually like 18 ounces to 32 ounces, which is almost two pounds on the big side. Um, when I saw this, I, I was kind of interested in it wasn't exactly sure how it was going to do. After reading about it, it said that it might be a little frost sensitive um, down to like 30 degrees F. So for me and where I'm at, we typically don't get frost down that cold anyway. So I think we'll be okay. Um, as you know, we had this huge heat wave that kind of came across this last week. Um, I did all of the normal protecting things that I did for my avocado trees and I wanted to make sure especially the younger ones like this one which I bought in like a five gallon um, I wanted to make sure I did all of the protecting that I could to kind of keep it going and thriving for this year so maybe next year I don't have to do all of that but it seems to be happy and you know I even did this uh, shade cloth over it which probably I didn't even need to do but you know Considering that it got up to like 107 degrees on Tuesday of last week, you know, it was probably something that just worth it just in case. So, so this is the shade cloth that I bought from the Home Depot. It's uh, right here, six foot by a hundred foot, or six feet by a hundred feet, and. It's green. It doesn't give me a like a percentage, but I was looking at the fabric and it does look like it lets light through. But you know, sometimes they'll actually say like 30%, 60%, or 90% or something like that. But but you know, having this tree in this spot, I tend to forget about it because it's right behind my this pine tree. So when I look out, I forget about that. <laughs> This tree is actually here, so it's good to kind of come back here and take a look at it. I wish I would have taken a picture of it when I first planted it or when I first bought it. That way you can see what it looks like, but um, it really all of this stuff that's up in the top is all new. And this new leader that looks like it shot up, it's all new. So let's see what it's going to look like in, you know, six months from now. This thing has not flowered yet at all for me. and. I'm hoping maybe next year um, it's going to get a little bigger and then flower and potentially get a, a fruit that we can actually sample and see. And 
you know, I'm not optimistic I'm gonna get a fruit that's like 32 ounces, but if I did, that would be awesome. I'll definitely show you guys, so. In any case, here it is. Another avocado that I have in my grove here, and I'll document this avocado for now. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that you protected your avocados and they're doing well, especially with this heat. We are supposed to have temperatures down in the high 80s now for the next couple of days, which is a good thing. And um, I know it's supposed to go up again in, in temperature um, by the end of the week. So we'll just continue to monitor the temperatures, continue to add supplemental water, um, make sure it's protected with some type of shade cloth if you can or if you really need it. Um, mulch is important, of course, and you know, painting the, the branches to keep the branches from burning is something that I've done that seems to really be helping also. Anyways, talk to you guys later. See ya.